Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video and tutorial. Right now, we're just cranking out the solution to our missing numbers challenge. So, let's see. We've got some possible numbers we can work with, right? So, let's create a variable for that. Possible numbers. Let's make it a list of just those integers 1, 3, 6, and 7. And now let's try and create all the possibilities or the possible combinations or permutations of those numbers. So to do that, I'm going to use the iter tools library so we can import iter tools. And then from that, we should be able to say that possibilities equals iter tools dot permutations of all those possible numbers, right? So now for each possibility, in those possible numbers, I'm sorry, yeah, in those possibilities, we could print out what we're working with right now, and now we just got a bunch of options as to where those numbers can fall. Now let's actually fill them into that equation that we have up there. Let's get that as a string. We can just say string equals, and I'm just going to actually just put these all, these numbers in here, with the question marks treated as if they're part of the values, 4, 5, 6, and then I'm going to actually have the statement be like a Boolean like equation or a statement we can really test. So these question marks are going to be filled in real soon. They're just going to be replaced with a string replace as to the possibilities of each of those numbers. So now we've got our string for us, right? So for in each possibility, we actually can now loop through each number and have it fill through that string that we're creating. Let's actually create a new string to work with. We'll base it off of the original string. And now we can say for each number in each possibility, we can say new string can equal the same string that we've been working with. So new string will keep updating with each, uh, with each iteration of the numbers that we pass through. We'll replace the question mark with the current number we're looking at and we'll just replace the first occurrence of the question mark so we don't overflow and we don't replace all of them. Now, at the very end, new string should have been filled through with all those possibilities, right? Oh, and we'll have to actually take each number as a string because right now we're saving these as integers, but we want to be able to replace them in a string as a string, you know? So now we print all these out, and now we have a bunch of these possibilities. Well, now we can just tell Python, hey, take a look at that, man. Let's eval that. Let's actually run through that evaluation. And one of these will return true. And that's the combination of the numbers we actually want to run with. So if that returns true, now we can print out the new string that we've worked with. And that's our solution right there. Real simple. 7 right here. 1 right here. Let's see. 6 and a 3 at the very bottom here. Does that work for us? Let's take a look. Let's see, 2718 plus 3456 gives us 6714. Huh, cool. Looks like that's everything we wanted. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you understand that solution. Hope you cranked out something similar. But. Sounds great. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next challenge.